Uh oh. Y'all know they call me the lone host, right? They call me Kayo. It's kind of like Neo, because I'm the one. Here I go, y'all. Listen, we're thinking about doing some new things with the My New Philly show. It might become the show formerly known as the My New Philly show. Because it's at nighttime now, y'all. Look, look what time it is. Look what look, it's 818 and we live, right? Used to be in the morning on Fridays, but now we're going live Wednesday evenings. Reason for the change is it gives us a lot of flexibility, right? So we got some great guests in the building that was able to come because it's a Wednesday night, right? We thinking about calling the show. Should I tell them now? Now I'm gonna make y'all wait a little bit. I'm gonna make y'all wait a little bit because we got some things to talk about, man. Apparently, Donald Trump is still Putin's bitch. Did you know that? If you live in LA and you took the Walk of Fame recently, then you know that because you see that Donald Trump's star has been defamed again in a way that I gotta, I gotta actually give a golf clap to. It's actually a double entendre. Donald Trump loves playing golf. But anyway, more about presidents. The presidential race is coming up. Joe Biden has thrown his hat in the ring for that. I got to give a good old black people at the graduation when you ain't supposed to clap, clap. That's my boy right there. <laughs> Joey B. Joey B. That's my boy. Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed to clap at the graduation. Damn that. My boy valedictorian. That's how we be at the graduation when we ain't supposed to be. Y'all know I'm, I'm telling the truth. And Obama, he got a, a, a boulevard named after him in L.A. So wouldn't you know, we, we almost three years into Donald Trump's presidency, and Obama is winning in L.A., go figure, and Donald Trump is losing in L.A. Who could have thunk? Who could have thunk? It's, it's, it's crazy. But I, I like that Joe Biden is running. If y'all like that Joe Biden is running, I personally think he's the clear-cut winner as soon as he throws his hat in a race. Send me a comment, a like, a share, anything like that if y'all think Biden is going to win. Now, you know, presidents was, was talking about, you know, this global warming and everything else that's going on, right? So McDonald's wanted to come in and they wanted to say, well, we don't want the, the globe to warm either. We also don't want the globe to thicken. That's the insider. I'll tell you all about that one later. But McDonald's is now turning their straws into paper straws. I like it. I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm, I'm hearing there's position, petitions going around asking McDonald's to change back to the plastic straw. But the plastic straw is tearing the earth apart, y'all. Y'all heard a little Dicky song. We love the earth. We love the earth. That's, that's, that's my, new, my new jam. I, I like me some, some little Dicky. Um, and then some more news uh, about the globe, right? Uh, Apple and Jay-Z. Y'all see that, that fake uh, transition I did? Apple and Jay-Z is, is in the news, right? So Apple is apparently being sued by a young man that had his face recognized by the police, but it wasn't his face. So you know how you open your phone up? Imagine you open your phone up every day, and it's you, because your phone opening up. But then one day, the cops is at your door, and they like, look into this phone for me. And the phone opens up, and they lock your ass up. Well, apparently that's what happened. And now homeboy is suing for a billion dollars. I just would like to tell the police officers everywhere all around the globe to come check my face, too. I would like to see if my face will open up any phones for any crimes that I didn't commit because I would like to also sue for a billion dollars. I would like to do that as well. I think that that is preposterous and ridiculous and something needs to be done about facial recognition because it's the future. We all know that in the next five, ten years, you're going to be doing everything with your face and your eyes, right? You're going to be like, let me get a quarter pounder with cheese. Cha-ching. Let me buy this rover. Cha-ching. That's what we're going to be doing with our face and our eyes. And it's going to be some students that cook that up. Those students might be students from an HBCU that were funded to go there and visit there and tour there by none other than Jay-Z. I don't know what you could say bad about Hove these days, right? Like, I thought he killed the game when he got Beyonce. But now, my man's an investor. He's a philanthropist. He's doing things for technology, for students, for school. It, it's, it's crazy. So now he's teamed up with Toyota, and they are going to be taking inner city youth around the country to visit HBCUs and just figure out where they want to go to college. I'm sure there's be some scholarships and all of that thrown around in the mix as well. But that's a very important thing to do is, is show the youth, especially youth that can't afford and can't get out, 
what they missing out there and give them a glimpse of the college life so that they can pick and go where they want to go, right? Because college is beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as me. <laughs> you gotta get a long dramatic pause. Y'all see all of this up here, right? Peekaboo, come, come visit me on the stage, right? I'm gonna tell y'all about me and how I get beautifully beautified. Let's go on Philadelphia. All right. So they call me Peekaboo here. He also calls me Shizzy or Shizzy Mac Shizzy sometimes. Shizzy Mac in the building. You guys can call me Jim Carrey today because I'm gonna be helping my man with a mask. Also got a little Jim Carrey sort of. Shirt I was on. gonna say you look wild Ace Ventura-ish right now. Yeah. That's how you look at. Let's get into this mask though. Let's so see. Let's tell them how you keep me beautiful. See, I'm not vain, y'all. I got, I got a regimen, right? I got, I got ingredients. Talk to me, Pete. So me and Kai, every morning when Kai gets up, I get Wait up as well. Minute. We put on this mask, and we do it in a very similar fashion to how we're about to do it right now. So these are real tips. I'll be at my house. You be at yours. You think that. Here we are. Just so y'all know. <laughs> so we have. We what start, we doing? Start with some yogurt. You have, before we do anything, got to have your supplies. Get a bowl, get yourself some spoons, and get yourself some yogurt. They got Don't the low-fat yogurt. Do it have to be low-fat? I see on the ingredients. So, yeah. It has to be no, just regular yogurt. They Going must two fat. tablespoons. Does that mean I got a fatty face? A little bit. I don't know. Mm. Possibly. That's crazy. Two spoons of yogurt. Mm. Oh. Then we're going to have to get a tablespoon of turmeric. You want some of this? I thought this was mustard at first. I won't lie to you, America. Yes, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Woo! Pungent? Nah, doesn't smell <laughs> like anything else. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I should have done this over the bowl. Let's get a little little spoonful on this. Good lord, does not come out. Here we go. That's, that's going to make that. it real bright and orangey. Definitely going to be bright that's and orange. That's going to do. Most masks are usually green. So it's going to, we'll, we'll see what this looks like in the end game. Okay. That's definitely going right. to affect the color. You want what a little lemon? Next? I got you a little lemon. lemon. Go ahead. Let's go, give you a do, little squeeze. You do the honey, I'll do the squeeze. Here you, you go. Want, okay, got you. Bang. You get, get a little honey. squeeze of that oh, lemon that, there. Uh, I hope that wasn't too much lemon. I went, I went over lemon on them. Then we get a little bit of this honey right here. A little honey. Put that right on the spoon. All right, now while you mix that, I'm going to tell the folks what this, this mask is used for. So our producer, Amina, hooked up this turmeric mask. She, she went, am I saying it right? Turmeric, turmeric, how we say that? It's tomato turmeric. Who, who cares? Um, but it's used to help people that may suffer from hyperpigmentation. Is that, is that right? Hyper, I think this is a typo, Amina, but help me out. Hyperpigmentation. Okay, that is a typo. Dark marks, acne scars. Turmeric is an herb that also is known to help with lightning, lighting or dark, lighting dark or marks on your skin. The lemon in the mask is also helped with lightening the skin because it has bleaching properties that will lighten the skin after about five days of using the mask. You should see results and spots being faded and having brighter skin. I think we got a pretty good consistency here. Nice, nice little shade of yellow. It, it is a shade of yellow. So, Pete, now listen, I didn't bring a change of clothes, all right? So don't miss my face and get my shirt. I'm gonna I try my a, best. It's a good I thing we do this feeling, all the time. Got a feeling that that's gonna leave a hell of a stain. Oh, probably will. Means you playing my drive cleaning bill if, uh, if Pete get my shirt. As long as it's not on me, we can roll. Pete, have you done this before? I tell you, Kai, we do this every morning. You just don't know. You watch my eyes. <laughs> oh, I got your eyes. Shoot. It's just turmeric. It, it probably will come out eventually of your eyes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, let's turn cheek a little bit here. I can't, I don't even know how I look right now. I don't know can, can what's look, going on. Look a little brazy. I won't lie to you. It's, it feels real yogurty. <laughs> probably the yogurt. It smells <laughs> yogurty, too. The yogurt does come through, but you also have that strong hint of turmeric. There's a, there's a very strong odor here. I won't lie to you. What, what y'all can't see on camera right now is the entire production team taking behind the scenes photos and video of this process. Right now it's happening. They think I don't see them out in my peripherals. Get you a little bit I got 2020 peripheral vision and better not nobody post this. Oh, it's going All on. All right. Zero down. That's a pretty good mask right there, I would say. They're pretty decent. You got job. me. Yeah, you no. Got, you ain't missing no spots. I think I think we good. We'll do All a right. Now the they said this you? got bleaching properties. If I come back looking like Peekaboo, somebody gonna have to explain. Freddie right. Jackson back in action. I'm not trying to turn into Kyriekaboo. Now I gotta let it sit. Let me read. I feel like when you got something on like this, you gotta keep your eyes real wide and your head real still. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's in this tomato, That's but you're starting to scare me a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my leave. All right, all right, then Pete, you you get on out of here. I can't even. I feel like I got a neck brace, so I got to read the papers like this. This better make me gorgeous, Amina. I know that. 
Anyway, today's show is a lot about DIY. So Peek is in the back with AR Workshop. Peek, talk to him. So we are doing DIY today. I'm here with Ricky. Ricky, it's so great to have you on the Hi, show. Hi, thank you for having me. You want to talk to us a little bit about what you do? Yes. So uh, AR Workshop, Chestnut Hill. We're located at 8607 Germantown Avenue in Chestnut Hill. And we are a DIY boutique uh, home decor workshop. So mm -hmm. it's instructor-led. So we'll help you make your projects. So for instance, you can make like a pedestal tray. You can make pillows. You can make wood projects. So uh, how about we get started and I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So. You're going to start on a canvas, and that's going to wind up being a pillow. Mm -hmm. So you take your little little paintbrush here, and you just dab. So we're going to do this at the same dab, time, right? Okay, because I'm going to do no on brush the wood. strokes, right? No, so you're gotcha. dabbing. So now, you know, I know that's kind of old to okay, say. Gotcha. You know, we're kind of old for that, but we can dab right now. So just dab a little, little dip and dab. Little bit, little bits. Yeah. So you're going to dab it, and then you're going to do as many colors as you like. And this is basically the process. So you start off with a stencil. So there's no way that you can mess this up. Yeah. Okay, so you can color outside the lines, inside the lines, but it's going to be the stencil. It's going to look awesome when you're done with it. And so um, then you go home with this project. So you go home with the same day. You go with the same day. You don't That's have to amazing. wait a couple of days or come back, you know, like other places I won't mention. But you come, you do this, you can pick whatever you want. You personalize it on the computer. You come on in and you make it. And you, it's also BYOB. I was going to say, I failed coloring as a child. I was not. I, I was way outside the line. So this is great well, this for is, me. This is awesome. Yeah. Right. And you can't mess this up. Yeah. And you could be drinking beer or wine while you do this. I was going to say, couldn't do that in kindergarten. So maybe right. that would have helped me out a little bit. So that's why there's instructors there like me that's going to help you uh, curb it a little bit to make sure you stay on task. <laughs> and, and so then this is, this is what you do. You, you do this for, you know, maybe two hours or so, hang out with your friends, um, drink, do this, and, and you go home with a project. So uh, how about this? How about... We like fast forward like a whole yeah. hour. To <laughs> bam. Look Complete. What you did. Come Look, on. It's a whole pillow. Pretty good. Am I right for the first time? Where can they find you, Ricky? Where can they? Uh, Instagram, so Twitter, where do we got? Yes, we are on Instagram, um, AR Workshop Chestnut Hill. We're on LinkedIn. We are on Facebook. We are in Germantown, Chestnut Hill. We'll go up there. So we're everywhere. Um, and I hope everybody comes. We have a summer camp. We have classes. We have workshops. It's for guys, girls, kids, everyone. Great. Well, that's amazing. And you know, at My New Philly, we're a big, big proponent of local business and showing off local business, giving them the videos they need. So we're going to go to a commercial from our sponsor, High and Low. Unfortunately, recently, one of our team members passed, Trisha Graybill. She's in this video, so please enjoy. Never have time to clean your house? You're busy. The last thing you want is to use your free time to clean. You want a thorough and trustworthy home cleaning service to keep your house looking amazing. And with High and Low's unique deep cleaning process, it will. Over 8,000 homeowners in the Tri-State area have trusted us, so you can be sure we have the know-how to keep your home spotless and you smiling. We know you work hard, and it can be difficult finding the time to give your home the clean it needs. Now you can relax knowing you'll come home to the best clean imaginable. Guaranteed. Don't wait. Call High and Low Cleaning today to give your home the detailed clean it needs with maid service you can depend on. And welcome back to the My New Philly Show. This episode, we're doing all DIY, and DIY is a lot about taking something that's old and making it into something fresh. So Easter just passed. We got these cool little tea lights we're going to show you guys how to make. Lighten up the room. Make your romantic life just a little bit more snazzy. So you're going to take our eggs here. Got your eggs. We got a little paintbrush we just stole from Ricky. We're going to dab it on there. And we're just going to paint the outside of this. Make sure it's all nice and even. Then you also got to remember to hit the inside. It's nice and blue right now. Got to hit the white on the inside as well. Once that's done, you're just going to leave them here to dry. Once they are fully dry, Grab yourself a hot glue gun. Take one of these bad boys. Go ahead and just give it a little dab of that hot glue. Stick it right on there. Let it dry. And then add your tea lights. Ooh. Get your certified lighter. And you just go ahead and light the mood. Now, this is one of the many different things we're going to show you today about how to improve your life on just doing very simple things like this, you know. But it's not all about, in DIY, just making something new. Sometimes it's about taking something that's old and making it look new again. 
So I'm going to kick it over to Kai with our own sneaker connoisseur, Israel, to help you learn how to lighten up those kicks. Kai? Hey, what's going on, Israel? What's going on? How you doing, man? I, oh, snap. Hold They caught. <laughs> I was a little sweaty, y'all. All right. Oops. Um, it's clean. I promise. It's clean. It's clean like we're going to get these clean, right? So you got these dirty-ass Yeezys, right? right? I don't, I don't know if I mess with Yeezy. I know he did the, the, the church join. What he right. had, 30,000 people in, right, in the right, Sunday right, service right, or right, something? Right. But I'm not wearing no Yeezys, especially right. if they this dirty. Right. So your company is called Distress. Tell us what you do before you show us what you All do. All right, so basically, we just, you know, take the shoe, they bring it, you know, we take the shoe strings out. I, I usually stuff it, but today we're not going to stuff it. We're just going to clean them with this brush Now, what is, what is stuffing do? You got to tell the just, people that. Basically, stuffing is just like just keeping it up narrow like that. So when you, you don't got to go flat surface, get just get Okay. Up, All right, know, so like, it's up high, easy to right, clean that right, way. Right, right, okay, right. cool. I got you. So basically, I just take my knuckles. Okay, so like let that. me go in. Who's? All right. Make sure. You can wash your hands. Just make sure, because so I don't you know who these brush, is. You just take this brush, you right. dip it in here, and you just come here. If you put the little, little, little elbow little grease elbow. in the joint. Okay. Right. So I'm going to get you to do it. Let right. me let me try it out. What, now, what's in the bowl, Israel? I can't tell you that. But oh, it's, it's oh just, he got the special know? sauce. He got the sneaker sauce. So you just scrub. And get them you know. Smell good, though, Israel. Yeah. You cook this up? <laughs> you DIY this? Okay. Right, so now... Basically, this does dissolve. It just disappeared by itself. So as you can see, if you can, like, kind of like, okay. just right. like so wipe just it off or like whatever, a, I guess. Just a little squeeze yeah. hand. Okay. Usually right. have a rag or so, but basically, this side is filthy, and it, so this is the at, this is the bef before, and this is the after. So basically, I'm just doing one more time to show y'all. Oh, go ahead, Mo. Do your so. thing, Israel. I'll get my paper towel. All right, get your paper towel. I'm gonna show you. Okay. It's multi-purpose. Y'all thought I was just. Sweaty. Alright. I'm gonna leave that right there. So that's the difference right here. It's wet right now, so you're not gonna really see the difference, but y'all can see the difference. So you got your before and you got your after. So this is the whole distress like movement and this how it comes. Now you so can go ahead. Real quick, you did this yourself, right? right? But you sell this service as well. Right. Right. So people, can they buy the solution so, from you? No. Okay. So no. they got to come to you right. with the special sauce right. to get their sneakers right. clean. Tell them how to find you, Israel. So basically, you can find me on Instagram at The Stress Life with a Y, not an I. I go by like Mr. Get a How You Live. Keep driving is like a good, a big saying. So when I move around in the streets and stuff like that, people, I'm like very huge on social media. And when I move around in certain places, people know who I am. So you can just find me on there or like, I'm in a neighborhood near you, like, I'm everywhere. Yeah. And I do a lot of celebrities and stuff like that, so, like, I'm very big with it. So that's he's, he's very big with it. Y'all check <laughs> him out. Some other big things going on in the news, uh, you, if you ain't heard, you watch Game of Thrones? No. You don't watch Game of Thrones? No. We don't no, out of here, Israel. We out of here. Game of Thrones is on. Avengers is coming out. I don't know nothing about Avengers, but I know something about Game of Thrones. Pete, can we talk about it? This might be the biggest week, not only of the year, possibly of the decade. We have the Battle of Winterfell coming up on Sunday on Game of Thrones. But before that, we have Avengers Endgame, the final film in Phase Tell 2 about Avengers, of man. Marvel's John. Avengers, I, look, some of the movies are hit or miss. I think they were trying to do a little too much with Captain Marvel. Uh, I liked what they were generally going for. There was just a little bit too much at play. But you see Avengers Infinity War, and you leave that theater in chills. I know that I did. And I've been waiting with bated breath for this movie to come okay. out because it is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be okay. amazing. If you don't watch Marvel or you haven't been up on the Avengers, this is a great place to start. Maybe watch just Infinity War so you can kind of get your bearings. I, I watched a little bit of Infinity Wars with my son, and I fell asleep. I'm, I'm going to tell you the <laughs> truth. Um, I'm, I'm not big on the superhero movies i yeah. just think the plot is just the same plot with different characters it's not I'm untrue you, truth. you know i'm gonna tell you the truth pete but you know i love game of thrones yeah it's not not something you're gonna fall asleep with yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall asleep probably not with watching kids, yeah not, not doing that not doing that cat cat does not watch game of thrones with me but a lot a lot a lot packed into these first two episodes pete i thought episode two was awesome you, I, 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 I'm stuck at the same point I was with episode one. I'm mad that nobody has caught any wreck yet. I mean, Gendry kind of caught that wreck. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we being uh, for real? Uh, you know, I've seen some stuff going up and down the timelines about how, how old Arya Stark really actually is. Yeah. They were saying the Game of Thrones might have just took it a little place. It ain't need to go. Well, let's carry the one real quick. How old is Arya Stark? So, 
Uh, producer Jim showed me this stat a couple days ago. Did he? The, the spike of Macy Williams' age on a Google resort, mm-hmm. like it was, it was an uphill climb. It was Everest. You when you hit it, like when right. when that po- popped up on screen, when her her sexual scene with Gendry came up, right. that skyrocketed. So people were people were checking people, for that. People was wanted to know. That was that was a bit much. It was a bit much. And and John told Daenerys that he's. Her nephew, nephew or her uncle? Nephew. I thought it was the least interesting part of the episode. Nephew. It was, they, they brought it at a spot where they, they didn't necessarily need to bring it. Yeah. Like, like they if really you, did. But if you bring it any earlier, it's tough, to, it's tough to move in the way they wanted to. The way the horn blew and then the battle started, it, it, was, it worked for timing purposes, I felt like. It's going to be a great episode. I'm really excited about it. It is. It is. I'm, I'm really excited about it as well. Um, we uh, got a few other things to talk about. Um, there's some new words in the, in the dictionary. Yeah. Did you notice? Yeah. You notice? I'm not. I'm gonna hide the paper. Tell me, tell me uh, what word they done added to the dictionary. Well, after my quick peep right there, uh, egot. Egot. What does egot mean? Which means you would have an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony, like our local hero John Legend, mm. UPenn graduate that we learned a couple weeks mm. ago. Uh, it's a very coveted prize possession that people search for their whole careers. They also included Stan, which I don't know if Stan won a Grammy, but it was a coin. <laughs> it was a term coined by Eminem. In the song Stan. Eminem done got in the West, but Web- Webster, y'all. Can you believe that? It's That's amazing. Crazy. They've really repurposed the term in a way that is kind of incredible. I think it's more, I think the, the term really gained popularity with Ether mm-hmm. when Nas used it in that song, and it was like, oh, Nas is using it. This is something we can all use. This I is feel a like that. it's crazy, too. Like, it's crazy that it's just getting put in Webster because I feel like it hadn't been used in a long time, and mm-hmm. now it's being used again. Yeah. Like, by Webster. They also put uh, on brand is apparently, I, I don't know that, I, I think fine. on and brand was already in yeah, the dictionary. They just clean. read dash and made it a, a something. Um, and gender non-conforming. Yeah. Right? So the LGBTQ other letters community is, that's a win for them. QIA plus, right? yes. Now that is uh, gender non-conforming is now in the, in the Webster dictionary. Big step. And bougie. Bad and bougie. bougie. Bad, it's kind, of, kind of late. Bad and bougie is probably the reason that it's in a the A little dictionary. late, though. That was it three years is. ago now. It probably is. Um, are you bougie? I don't particularly think I am. You but maybe. Think that's it's, that's I, really I, an eye of the beholder sort I of question. I think you're bougie because <laughs> this pink egg is rather bougie. Oh, yeah. Right. Single de Mayo is around the corner. And it's DIY. So bougie as peak. <laughs> bougie boo, <laughs> if you will. He's going to make some maracas or something. I don't know. I. I'm going to go get me a drink. You sure I'm Bougie Boo? <laughs> you Bougie Boo now. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's your name. They call you Bougie Boo. Well, picking up right where we left off with the tea lights, using those Easter eggs in the new project, especially into the next holiday, which is Cinco de Mayo, is a great thing you can do for DIY. And this one is really simple. Get yourself your two spoons. Get yourself your egg. Crack that bad boy open. You have your rice. Go ahead and give a nice scoop of that to give that little Moroccan sound. Go ahead, close that back up. Then you want to take your two spoons here. Once I get this fully closed, good lord. Egg, work with me. Work with me, egg. Okay. Get the two spoons around it. Get yourself some tape. We got some nice colored tape here. There's a lot of glitter going on. I'm going to have to have some explaining to do to the woman back home that I was not actually in a strip club, that I was making egg maraca shakers. I, I have no idea. It's going to be a tough one to explain. But you get the tape going. Make sure that it's all the way around. Once it's all done, this is going to be your final result. After all the tape is all the way around it, this is going to be your little deal. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Enjoy your maracas. Arriba! And Kai is going to help you get this even more set for Cinco de Mayo with a little margarita contraption. Kai, you don't drink. What are you doing? I drink on Cinco de Mayo, peekaboo. It's like, no, I don't. But still, I'm going to show you all how to make a margarita, though. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need some taco la. Some, oh, tequila, yeah, the Margaritaville uh, uh, tequila. You're going to also need some triple, triple C, triple C, triple C, Pimp C and triple C. You're going to need um, in your tequila as well. So they done already poured me up some shots. How much is this, producers? A pound of liquor? How much is in one shot? Oh, an ounce. All right, so an ounce of takala. Ugh, this stinks. I don't know why y'all drink this type of stuff on. And an uh, ounce, I imagine, of triple seek, too. Triple sec. Tri- tri- is triple sec? All right, triple sex. 
Um, why are they call the triple sex? You get so drunk you have sex three times? Hold on, let me read that again. Well, they shouldn't make the C all loopy like that. It looked like triple sex. Get yourself a triple sex. An ounce of it. Mmm. <laughs> this is peculiar. <sighs> all right. Now, what you want to do is you got to get yourself a little lime. I know what these is. I eat these, right? And then what you want to do is you want to squish squash her, squash squish her all around the rim, right? Now, if you're doing a margarita, you could do salt or sugar. You don't even think I knew that, did y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But apparently my producers, they like salt. So then you want to just get the rim all salty. I don't know why this seems to be a favorite. Like, who wants salt all in their mouth? Salt is bad for you. It's not a good thing to be all salty. But if you single to mild, it's your thing. Uh, be my guest. Um, also, you want to put a little, see, I'm going to tell y'all a secret, right? Y'all know, know I'm a healthy eater. Before the segment, Tay going to come over and tell me this call agave, not agave. Like, I'm going to be messing up words and stuff. I know what stuff is. How much agave? I mean, agave. Oh, that was that was that was about a tablespoon. I, I got a hand, my hand vicious, and some lime. You only want to dash of this. You only want to dash, bow, dash. That's all you want. That's all you need in your margarita, right? Then you want to get that thing. A, I miss something. Oh, oh, they had already. Apparently, you need more than a splash. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I didn't. That's for damn sure. And then you give it a shake, shake. They already made one for me, though. It's already ready to go. So this one is probably a lot better than the one that I was millie rocking. Um, then you, you got to split your glass. Oh, y'all ain't know I knew about the glass split. Listen, sometimes when you DIY, it get a little messy. That's all. Like I said, here you go. Put your little garnish on. Ain't know I knew that was called a garnish, Amina. I'm getting freaky over here with the Margaret. I don't know how the damn umbrella go. This ain't stopping a damn drop of rain neither. I don't know who idea this was. It's all ripped and stuff. Where do it go? I don't. Peak. Where do the the um, where do the, the little hat go in the margarita? This is delicious, by the way, Peak. Yeah, definitely bring it over here. I just want you to know. I know you do not drink, so I, just I will want be you participating. to know, Peekaboo. Here, let me give you a little umbrella. Go ahead. Match my shirt. Go ahead and take a sip. This is from the Let the me shake the Morocco one. while yeah, you take a sip. It's single de Mayo, y'all. <laughs> Margaritas are so delicious, man. See, it's I it's hooked it up. the same. I killed it. I hooked it up. Oh, this was yours? Yeah, I hooked oh, it no up. Way. That's what it was all oh, me, man. Right? That's delicious. It was all me. Ain't it Bartender delicious? Kai, they call him that. It's good, right? Yeah. I got That's, you. Yeah, I got you lit. There was no sensitivity about that one. I got you lit. I got a peak is lit. Now he done turned from peak boo to bougie boo. The Liddy Boo. <laughs> <laughs> my guy over here. He got my mad names. I like Liddy um, Boo way better than Bougie Boo. You could be Liddy Boo. I'm you cool with Liddy, Liddy Boo. Boo. But listen, it's some bougie folks in D.C., apparently. I mean, it's like the, the whole city. It, you know Howard. It's a beautiful campus. Yeah. It's down in D.C. Um, I've, I've been actually there. been there. My sister graduated from Howard. Go figure. Right? Apparently, they letting people poop. Wait a minute. That sounded disgusting. <laughs> it's dogs that's pooping. Not Everywhere. People. <laughs> it's calm down, y'all. It's not people pooping. Far as we know, it's just dogs. Not yet. Maybe cats and other pets, but it's not people. I know that's for sure. Yeah. Um, that was nasty. <laughs> Howard got dogs pooping on the property. They do. It is poop trification. It's very much like gentrification, but that is a good one. Pete. I've been working on it all day. Pete, that, that was that was now he's funny, boo. <laughs> He's, like just, he's switching it up. Day. But anyway, we got to talk about how sensitive America is. Yeah. Because you see, see how me and Pete just share the jokes. See how the love is flowing through Indeed. me and Pete. Right? It's just the love is flowing, right? So apparently, not even apparently, I've seen the video. I don't know if you've seen the video. I've not seen the video. This ish is crazy. People around the campus of Howard have been using Howard's campus the way they want to use the campus. Apparently, they having picnics. They walking their dogs. Mm -hmm. They planting shrubberies. They doing yogas. It's probably yoga. Go 
yoga's fine. No, yoga is fine. As long as you ain't doing it on my lawn, peekaboo. That's not I don't want to come out my house and see you on my lawn in a downward dog. That's, that's not fun. That's not an unfair point. That's not, that's not fun. No. You don't pay rent here. Yeah. Right? Wake up and you know the sun's rising costs? and there's a butt Do you know how much tuition costs? A lot of money. Tuition is a lot of money. So I should be able to go to school at my HBCU. That stands for Historically Black University. Thank you. All right. Um, I should be able to go to my HBCU and not see HBC, H, W, what's white this? people. What's this? I couldn't figure out the acronym. It's white people on the lawn doing yoga and walking their dog, and hopefully they're curbing their dog, but even if they're not curbing their dog, not. they shouldn't be. Somebody was interviewed. Mm -hmm. White man was interviewed. Now, Pete, you know I love white men like the next white man. <laughs> sure. Did that make it more racist? A little bit. All right, Keep well, rolling. I love white people. <laughs> but anyway, he said, if they don't want us around the campus walking the dogs and doing our yogas and having our picnics, they should move the campus. Poop purification. The campus been there probably before you, bro. Mm. And it's a campus. Who wants to move a campus? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yes. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. Hell of entitled and ridiculous. And it's crazy because it, this is what happens when these types of stories happen. The person they get on camera becomes the voice in the face for everybody mm -hmm. else that was committing these travesties. Mm -hmm. Now, I guarantee you, a lot of people is probably just like, I didn't even know this was, you know, Howard's property. I, I won't bring my dog around anymore. It's, it's fine. I, I know. I respect that. But no, they get apparently, I'm not going to do that one. That's, that's a bit much. Um. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things we talked about with Sensitive Ass America, this is probably the, like, one of the more insensitive ones. It, it is. It is. Um. It, give, give me your take, and I'll give you my take on this, Peekaboo. I mean, clean up after your dogs. Carry a plastic bag. That's my take. That, see, and I think you, you, you kind of missed it. It's not necessarily that they're not cleaning up after their dogs. It's right. simply don't walk your dog on my campus. Ah, it's, so it's, it's an entirely different yeah, issue. It's find, not find, just a, find a patch of grass okay. that belongs to, you know, the city or somebody else, but not at the college. That's not what it's there for. I don't, I don't think that's entirely unfair. You know, people are paying, as we talked about at the top of this, people are paying a lot of money to a college. A lot of college. money. Lot of you money. don't want to just be trekking through dog poop on your way to school, and then you walk into your classroom, and then there's dog poop on the ground. Who wants that? Um, once again, I think you're missing the point. I it's think not, I am as well. I, not, I think you should stop asking my take about, on this it's one. not about the poop. <laughs> I'm really stuck on the poop. <laughs> Peek done turned himself the poopy boo. God damn it. It's, it, it just, there's levels to this nickname. Now he is poopy boo. Um, and with that, we're going to definitely end the show on a lighter note. However, question for y'all, right? If you think this show was lit, if you think this show was live, it was live, but I'm using live in another way. What you think we should call this show? Because we started off with the Monty Philly show, but now we're thinking about calling it 2 1 Live. 2 1 Live. That's what we're thinking about. I kind of like it. It rolls off the tongue well. It rolls off the tongue a little bit. Send me some comments, drop me some shares, hit the like button, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube at My New Philly, follow us on Instagram at My New Philly, and it's My New Philly all over the place, everywhere. One of our my New Philians, one of our great hosts, Trisha Graybill, unfortunately lost her battle with cancer um, just this past week. And we would be remiss if we didn't send this show off in her honor with a tribute to Trisha Graybill. So that's all the time we have on MyNewPhilly.com, where something is always new and everything is always Philly. We love you, Trish. Never have time to clean your house? You're busy. The last thing you want is to use your free time to clean. You want a thorough and trustworthy home cleaning service to keep your house looking amazing. And with High and Low's unique deep cleaning process, it will. Over 8,000 homeowners in the Tri-State area have trusted us, so you can be sure we have the know-how to keep your home spotless and you smiling. We know you work hard, and it can be difficult finding the time to give your home the clean it needs. Now you can relax knowing you'll come home to the best clean imaginable. Guaranteed. Don't wait. Call High and Low Cleaning today to give your home the detailed clean it needs with maid service you can depend on. 
welcome to Dinner on Blanc 2017. There are over 5,000 people here in the historic Franklin Square. I'm your host, Trisha Grable, and I've seen so many different outfits. Everybody's dressed in white. I heard so many champagne bottles pop. There is even going to be a proposal tonight. So let's go check out these sexy tables. Let's have some fun, and let's enjoy the night. Come with me. We're going to be talking about bettering yourself. A lot of people always seem to wait to the new year to, you know, get that workout routine in, change their diet, but you can start today. And I'm with the creator, founder of Best Whole Self, Julie Terena. Hi Julie, how Hi. are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Today I am at 123 Chestnut at the Healing Arts Center, and I have an acupuncturist appointment to heal my mind, body, and soul. Let's go meet Julie. I'm with Julie Schwartz, my acupuncturist. So Julie, what is the number one question that people ask? I would say it's, does it hurt? Yes, that Everyone is, always wants to know. That's yeah. the question that yeah. I get asked. Welcome to Mirror Mirror. I'm Trisha, your host, and I'm with Amy, the co-founder of Glowderma here in Yardley. Amy, thank you so much for having us and giving me a treatment of my own. I'm feeling much better already. That's great. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And can you tell us, a little bit about Glowderma, like why did you start it? Of course, well Glowderma is a full service aesthetics and wellness experience and I really wanted to create something that was different and unique, especially in the med spa uh, space. So we combined it the wellness as well as the aesthetics to really, really help people look and feel their best, something unique and different. I am so excited to introduce to you Monique from Softly Rugged. She's going to help us come up with a essential oil blend to help you de-stress and protect yourself in this holiday season and just with those stressful jobs. Yes, this is called the Protective Blend. Um, it's a combination of five essential oils to just help you relax and de-stress.